Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, a thundering Thursday, here on Gas, the Great American Auto Scene, brought to you by Service Tech Equipment. Thanks for tuning in, and you know what? You're a gasaholic. Thanks for watching. All right, one of the most misaligned or maligned words in car collecting today, and has been for a while, and it's always kind of bugged me, is the term classic car. You get guys say, well, I've got a classic 55 Chevy. No, you don't. i got a classic 57 Chevy. No, no, I haven't got one of those either. How about a classic two-seat Thunderbird? Wrong again. And why do I say wrong? And why are you going, well, yeah, they are classics. I've got a 55 and it's a classic. No, it's not a classic, guys. <clears throat> one of the things to look at is who decides whether a car is classic? You and I do not. There is an organization that has been established since 1952 to tell what a classic car actually is. And it's a designation. Now, first off, it's got to be a car built before 1948. Yes, there's a cutoff. 1948 is the end of the classic car era, according to the Classic Car Club of America. And they are the ones that have established the list of classic cars. And the Antique Automobile Club of America has accepted this. And what's an antique car? Well, varying definitions of that too. But usually it's a car that's 25 years of age and older. So the antique cars continue to climb as far as the numbers of cars added. The classic cars, now you can petition to have your car listed as a classic car or model, not your particular car, but a model of vehicle. But again, 1948 and older. And actually, they go 1915 to 1948. So think about that when you start to designate your car a classic. Now, many factors play into this, and it included the price top end line of the vehicles what what they were limited production low quantities built uh special engines with special displacement <coughs> custom coachwork limited luxury accessories mechanical development such as power brakes power clutch one shot or automatic lubrication systems they help to determine what a classic car is <coughs> excuse me the classic cars, well, they're the only ones recognized by the CCCA from 1915 to 1948. And I'm going to give you a list of them, and I can tell you right now, there are no Chevrolets listed as a classic car. Good morning, Troy. There are no Fords listed as classic cars. There are Chryslers listed, though. Think about that one when you think about the new organization that is going to eliminate the Chrysler name and more than likely the Chrysler nameplate. And we'll talk about that in a special edition of Yes coming up next week with Randy Cardoon. But here's some of the cars that made the classic cutoff. AC, auto carrier, 1925 to 1940. Not the Cobras. Not what became the AC Ace or the Cobra. But just the AC, Auto Carrier was the name of AC. Alfa Romeo, all through 1948. Adler, hmm, never heard of them. Elvis, I remember those, but only the Speed 20, the 3.5 liter, and the Speed 25, 4.3 liter. So again, they've limited part of the model lines to specific vehicles that are considered classics. Now we'll get into more names here that you might know. <coughs> Aston Martin, 1927 through 1939. So that DB5 that you saw James Bond driving in is not a classic. Ballot, never heard of them. Bentley, 1919 to 1948 all. Okay, every model of Bentley. The Biddle, the Biddle, 1915 to 1922, very short run. BMWs. But the 327, the 328, the 327, 8, and the 335 models only. Bugatti, all except the Type 52s and 68s. 
Cadillac makes the list with a whole bunch of cars. From 1915 to 1935, all Cadillacs. Also, the 12 and the 16 cylinders from 36 to 48. The Series 63, 65, 67, 70, 72, 75, 80, 85, 90, and the 1938 to 47 Model 60s specials, 40 to 47, 62 series. So Cadillac made the hit list. Chadwick, Chrysler has a whole lot of cars in the classic car category. From 1926 to 32, the Imperials, long gone model. The 32 to 39 Custom Imperials, the Airflow Imperials, the Newports, the Thunderbolts, and from 1941 to 1948, the Town and Countries. There's a whole other list of them here. All Cords, all Cunninghams, 1916, all models, B series. Dagmar, Daimler, that's before it became Daimler Benz, Delage, Delahaye, Doble. Hmm. Doris. Doris and Doble. Ooh, what a combination that is. DuPonts. Excelsiors. Farman. Now, some of these names I haven't heard. Even Fiat makes the list. Yes, Fiat. The fix it again, Tony, guys. 1923 to 1927, model 519. 1928 to 31, model 525. 1938 to 40, model 2800. But no military vehicles. And Fiat built military vehicles. The Franklins, pre-1915 pre and the 1925 to 1934, all models except the Olympic. <clears throat> Graham Page and Grams. Haynes. Hispano Sousa, 1919, H6 model, all French models, and the Spanish models, T56, T49, T56 bis, and T64. So these are some of the cars in there. Well, let's take a look at some of the others to see if we can get some American cars in here. Well, got some British Jaguars through 1948, 46 to 48. Jensen's 36 to 39. Lafayette's 21 to 24. It's an American car. The French. Well, the Italians get in here with the Lancia. La Salle, another version of Cadillac. 27 to 33, all Lincolns, 1920 to 1940, all models. The L's, the K.A.'s, the K.B.'s, the K's. The 1941, not 168H. 1942, 268H. Lincoln Continentals. Those are the first sporty, personal luxury cars that Etzel Ford designed, 1939 to 1948. The Mormon. Maserati's. Applications being considered right now. Maybach, Mercedes, all models pre-48. Mercedes-Benz, that's a different organization. All 230s and up, the Ks, the S, the SS, SSKs, SSKL, Grossmer, and Monheims, again, prior to 1948. MGs, oh, the little sports cars, 1935 to 39 SA model and 1938 to 39 WA. Nash even gets in there. Ford loses out. Not a single Ford other than the Lincoln product. Hi, Tard Martin. How are you doing this morning? Mike Levy. Roger Lee. Good morning. 1933, 1.8 liter, two seat Opal. Well, we haven't gotten that far yet, but I'll, I'll see. Nope. No Opals. Sorry. Jim Dillo. How are you doing this morning? The Page. The Pierce Arrow. The Peerless. Renault. Revere, Romer, Dusenberg, Rolls-Royce, 1915 to 1948. And here's something for you to think about. Did you realize that Rolls-Royces were built in the United States? You did, or you didn't. Yes, Rolls-Royce had manufacturing on the east coast of the United States in the 1930s. They stopped producing in the U.S. and went back strictly to British-built but they did produce Rolls-Royce in America, and those cars qualify. Simplex, SS Jaguars, Stearns Knight, Stevens Durier, Studebaker, still no Fords, 
1928 eight-cylinder president, 1929 to 33 president, except the Model 82, which was a higher volume vehicle, and the 1934 president model. Stutz, Sunbeam, hmm, eight, eight cylinders. Morning, Ron. And let's see. Ron Olson, good morning. Looking forward to getting together and more baloney and hopefully more shows. Steve Brown, good morning to you. Triumph, Dolomite 8 and the Glorious 6. Not the TR3s or 4s. Those are too new. So it would be the Dolomite. Vauxhall, mm, a GM brand, but the European version. 25, 1925 and 70 models, 30 and 30 and 98 models. The Wasp, the White, the Willis St. Clair, the Willie's Knight, the Winton. Hmm. Now, some of the custom-bodied willies are being considered, but this is the list of all cars considered classics. So next time you see someone writing an ad or telling you, I've got a classic 57 Chevy, no, sorry guy, it's not. You can call it a classic, and it may have classic styling, but technically it's not. Roger Lee, no, uh, Austin Healey 100M's too new. Again, the cutoff for classic cars, according to the people that designate what a classic car is, is 1948. Now, Austin Healey 100M is an amazing little car. The four-cylinder, I believe, still was 100s, and the M being uh, the Le Mans version, if I remember correctly. But I could be wrong. But uh, no, no Austin Healey's, because they came out later. Jensen's, not the Jensen Healey's. Jaguars, but not the XK120s or the XKEs. Again, 1948's the cutoff. Although the 120 came out just about that. I had a 51 XK120. Italia's Hup Mobile. Did you realize that before Generous Motors came out with a Hummer, there was a Hummer? Yes. Hummer, 1930, the Pullman Model 6. Some of these I've never heard of, never seen. Hudson's 1929 Model L, Series L. The Horch. All of them. There are so many cars on this list, but not a single Ford, not a single Chevrolet, no Oldsmobiles. There is a Buick, 1930 Series 60, 31 to 42 Series 90s, 31 to 33, 36 to 39 Series 80. 1940 Series 80 Limiteds, 40 to 41 Roadmaster 70 Series. So General Motors gets well respected, but Chevrolet doesn't. Ford, probably the biggest automobile company in the U.S., no, not a single car from Ford brand on the list. No Mercury's, just the Lincoln's. So that is what a collector car is. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the Classic Car Club of America and read about them and why they've made decisions they've made, it's easy. You go to ClassicCarClub.org and check them out. Now, if you want to find out more about antique automobiles, there's the Antique Automobile Club of America, and you can go to their website as well. As a matter of fact, it's free to be part of their forum you can join the club, too, but their forum is free to get on, and you can do that. Now, the resources, there are articles, there's related judging information, all on the Classic Car Club of America website. They've got Classics 101, and that is how do you determine what a classic car is, and things of that nature, tech tips, judging, how do they judge a classic car. It's all available on the Classic Car Club website. Dot org website. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas, and I'm not a classic either. I'm not old enough. You guys have a great day. Gas, the Great American Auto Seed, brought to you by Service Tech Equipment. Service Tech Equipment with all the equipment you need to outfit that commercial or home shop. Talk to the guys at Classic, Craig Heidenthal, the man to speak with. They're in Simi Valley, California. Check them out on Facebook, Service Tech Equipment and Tools. They're there. I've got their stuff in my garage. You should, too. Have a great day, folks. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas.